Father's Day ideas. Hi Kinder Friends, today we're going to be making stuff for Father's Day. And what in the world are we going to make? Sometimes it's really cute to dress up like your dad. So I thought we could um, take photos dressing up like our dads. Cooper is currently wearing his dad's clothes and we're going to take a photo. And why did you choose these clothes, Cooper? Um, because they're the ones that dad usually wears. Yeah, to work. And you look very cute. So this is a picture I took of Cooper in his dad's work clothes. Very cute. And that's a picture of his dad, my husband, in his exact same clothes. When you finish taking your photos, you can print them out maybe at Officeworks. Um, I'm trying to think where else may be there or on your home printer if you have any ink left. And you can write something like, when I grow up, I want to be just like and then you can have daddy on the other side and I think that's really cute. If you don't want to use all the ink in your printer, <laughs> you can also do a drawing on a contrasting piece of color paper for your dad and he will love that just as much. Or you could do a handprint um, with your paint. And now we're going to try to make sugar cookies. One cup of unsalted butter at room temperature cut up and put into your mixing bowl. Mix the butter up until it goes a light colour. Add one cup of sugar. Mix until it goes creamy and that means all the sugar is mixed in with the butter. I just quickly change the attachment to mix up the mixture. Break open two room temperature eggs and add them to the mix. Mix, 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 and now it'll get that yellow color back again. Add two teaspoons of vanilla essence, or more if you like the taste. And mix, mix, mix. Add three and a half cups of plain flour. Add one cup at a time. Add half a teaspoon of baking powder. I usually add my baking powder to the flour and mix that around before I put it in the mixer. Mix, mix, mix until you get it to firm up like a dough. Take out your dough and separate it into three batches. Knead them a little bit um, and then put them into Ziploc bags and put them into the fridge for one hour to cool. Lay them on a piece of baking paper. Put another piece of baking paper on the top of the piece of dough. Roll the dough mixture out. If the mixture gets warm or too hot, you may need to put it back in the fridge for half an hour to an hour before you um, cut out the shape. I've used the classic round circle cookie cutting shape. You could also use a glass if you don't have that shape or you could use any Play-Doh cutters that you have at home to cut out shapes. Whilst your cookies are still on their baking paper, put them onto a baking tray and put them in the oven at 180 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Do not let them get brown. Whilst you let them cool on the tray, it's time to make the fondant topping. I got the idea for um, making cookies because I got a hamper from my family in New South Wales and they had made these cookies and I thought, what a great idea. We should do that for Father's Day. So funny story. I ordered fondant topping in my delivery for today and they didn't have any. And so here I am with three little bits of Play-Doh, light blue, dark blue and white. And you're going to join them together and squeeze them and roll them to make a marble effect.
in real life, you'd be using fondant that you had colored with food coloring. Once you have rolled it and you like the uh, consistency of the colors, then you can roll it and try to cut out the exact same shape as your cookie. I like that one. It sort of looks like the ocean, so it's time to cut it out. Then you brush the back of the fondant icing with water and you attach it to your cookie. And then you're all done. When I got home from kinder, my husband had bought me some fondant, which is green. So then we've wet the back of it and we carefully put it on top of the cookie and push down. Beautiful. Try not to use too much water. Or maybe I could use this to make a love heart for dad. I love dad. Ta -da! You don't have to make sugar cookies. You could make apricot balls or you could make a slice or you could make honey joys. You can make whatever your dad loves to eat. This is just one idea.